In today's FX markets, I want to focus on the British pound to start the week. Uh, the British pound, the largest mover uh, of the majors today. We're seeing a nice rally in the British pound. Now, we did see the British pound gap open this morning. We saw some buying pressure right out of the gate. British pound now up for the third consecutive day and pushing up towards that one spot three zero level. Fell just short of it today. Currently right around the one spot two nine seven two level. So again, holding up at the upper end of the range, but unable to take out the highs that we saw about a month ago. And when you look at uh, some of the dynamics in the marketplace today, I think the first thing that was kind of highlighted coming into this morning was the trade situation. We saw the equity markets here in the U.S. react positively initially. We saw the currency markets react positively initially it's particularly when you look at the British pound but then that kind of came out of the market and that's we when we saw the British pound moderate really coming off of those highs and finding a trading range for the rest of the day couple that with the Brexit situation now I want to talk about that as we kick off this week it does appear that Boris Johnson now is getting some traction here so, uh, indications today that hit the con conservative party members excuse me that are in the snap election all of them will support his brexit deal if they are elected and that's viewed as a positive uh, i think in the in the tone of the situation over there and if we get through these snap elections and boris johnson is able to uh gain a larger uh majority uh, in the parliament that's viewed as uh, reducing the risk for a no-deal Brexit. That's yet to be seen, but that's the perception. I think that's another reason why we see the British pound gaining some traction. Let's look at the trend here to start the week as well. Trend is pushing the British pound back up to those highs versus the dollar, pushing up uh, just shy of the one spot three zero level. Now, we have not taken out the highs that we saw a month ago, and now that the fact that we're stagnating here a little bit this afternoon, I think at least for the short term, uh, there's still some more work to do from a technical standpoint, but you're certainly seeing the British pound pushing back up to the highs we saw a month ago. Couple that with the fact that when you look at the versus the euro, that's where you're seeing a defined trend continue and you continue to see the euro losing ground versus the British pound. We're seeing those levels now down to the May levels uh, from May of 2019. So you got to go back about six months here to see the current uh, pairs trade at these levels. And we're continuing to see the euro weakening uh, versus the pound and versus other currencies, but primarily the versus the pound due to the fact that some of the dynamics there are continue to shift. We're seeing the, again, hope that they're going to be able to get something done on the Brexit situation. And we're seeing it come out of it, it uh, the British pound coming out of the weakness uh, that it was uh, basically experiencing about a month ago. Couple that with the fact that the numbers coming out of the Eurozone continue to still be weak. We had some disappointing numbers from Germany this morning. So again, uh, those two factors, are, I think, are really playing into the pricing action when you look at the pair trade between the Euro and the British pound.